Yes, according to the labor laws here in Kato, or according to the laws that govern the labors, or what you call the workers here in Katawa, you are obligated or you can resign during what you call the probation period, or any time that you wish you want to resign. But again, you need to understand what closely is written out in what you call your contract, or you as a person with that company. You can resign during the probation period, it is true. You can. And you can give your employer one no, one month not period for you to change to a new employer he readies you to go that is during what you call the probation period what about a situation where we have you are within or you are during the, the employment process or you've already completed like one year with that company you've completed with the seven years with that company these are two different situations that you definitely need to understand if you are going to resign with that company or you're going to resign in that company what did you need to understand when i'm resigning during the probation period and when i'm resigning from this company when i've served a given period of time in this company when you've been in that company for less than two years you are supposed to give what you call one month notice period to resign to move on to a new job if you have another bigger employment if you've been in this company for more than two years then you are supposed to give that company or you are supposed to give what you call your current employer a two months notice period that you're supposed to serve what you need to understand exactly is that you must serve the notice period as agreed because when you serve it then he'll let you go if you don't serve it he will not let you go there are very many ways employers can do to deter you to move to another company. And they have that power according to what called the sponsorship laws. So you must make sure that you fulfill your obligation and serve the not spirit according to what is being stipulated in what you call the contract. Most of you do not tend to understand that and you fall into what you call trouble. You find yourself you are not cancelled out of the visa. Yes, you are not cancelled out on the visa because you did not finish or you did not finish what was obligated to you to finish what you call the notice period. So the employer himself has, has right to refuse to cancel out of your visa. Meaning if you get a new offer or if you get a new employment or if you get a new chance to a new company that's giving you a little much more salary, you may not be able to move. You may be denied that time access to move to a new company. So always make sure that as you are going to resign, make sure how many years you've been to that company. What is the notice period that am I supposed to serve? Serve the notice period. Finish up the notice period. Then you can move into a new company without anyone having to pressure on you with any other. Hope I've tried to share with you something. So the difference between the two, resigning, Resignation during what you call the probation period and how much you are supposed to serve, it's supposed to be one month. If you are resigning when you finish up the contract or you don't want to extend the contract with a new employer, depending on the number of years you've completed with that company, then it is a different case. You are going to serve in a different situation. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for supporting. Thank you so much for liking. Share. Let us get to share these videos such that we can get enlightened of what is happening and we know what are the laws such that we don't get to fall into trouble. Hope I've tried to share something for you. Thank you so much. By the way, if it is your first time to come across so if it is your first time to come across me, please don't forget to subscribe, like and subscribe and share. Thank you so much.